Hello there everyone and welcome back to Modded Minecraft. I'm here with Kate and Sneaky today. Hello. Hmm. Hello. And we're gonna go kill the dragon. I hope. Yep, but uh, one other thing I would like to announce is that Sneaky Craft is now available on the AT Launcher. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're running it on the AT Launcher right now, so obviously it works. Yeah. Um, so if you ever wanted to play along with us or play on the same pack we're using, go down to the AT Launcher and look for Sneaky Craft. Yeah. It's a public pack, publicly available. It's on the front page. Download it, install it. Uh, we're on the 1.2.10.1 version at this as of this recording. There may be another version coming out shortly with a couple of extra mods, but other than that, it's pretty much going to not do a whole lot from here. It's pretty much done because 1.7.10 modding is pretty much done. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got our page. Uh, Sneaky kindly went and located the portal in what one would call relatively undramatic manner. <laughs> right? <laughs> it was not that exciting. It was not that exciting. It was about as boring as it could possibly have been. Yeah. Find the location, dig straight down. Well, some... I ended up digging straight down into a different part, so I, I had to... Um navigate through this dungeon a bit before I found this place. Okay, well, not a big deal. Alright, we ready to have some fun? Sure! Party time! Tally ho! Tally ho! I think I lit on fire there for a second. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> oh, that was a dramatic oops. Um, I had... It broke the servers. Did it break the server, or... Yep. Yeah. I think it was uh, trying to generate all of those chunks Must that be. caused it to have a problem. Okay, well... So, um, <laughs> after these are messages... Yep. Alright, guys, well, we're back. Whoa! Fly! Eh. Fly! Use your rocket! I saved myself. I think I used my laurels up. Oh well. I need my hang glider. All right. I'm going after some of these uh, shard things. I'm going to do something silly here. Oh, what are you gonna do? Try and kill it without using the shards. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh, for God's Ooh. sakes. Really? Three shots. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this Signalo crossbow is, is, okay. it is. That's deadly. Overpowered much? <laughs> By the way, Kate, you can now go ahead and spam right click your bottles. Cool. Ah, uh, there's the rain of XPs and um arrow. Huh. Well, in the word in the realm of anticlimactic fights, that pretty much takes the cake. Well, I did die. Did, oh, did, there you go. You did, eh? I did, but I was I remembered to put on my laurels this time. Oh no, I didn't die. Never mind. I'm good. I don't know what happened, but it just kicked me back onto the platform. I like stupid Enderman. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are they? No, no. I'm two shotting them. Huh? 
Whoopsies. What are these glowing crystal things? Ender lilies. No, I meant the ones that sparkles in the air. There's green. The green that ones? I don't know. That's me. Oh, that's you using. That's that's my sword's uh, ranged thing. Oh cool. boy, we've got an Enderman on fire who's who's wigging out. About it. <laughs> <laughs> I got an Enderman head. Nice. Teleportation part. I got an Ender shard. Is that what we're here? That for? is exactly what we are here for. Nice. They're a rare drop, um, so that's why we need to set up a farm. But. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's the thing we're looking for if we're gonna make uh, the the good stuff. Hello there, angry enemy. Yeah, I like the mud fire. It's funny. And then they go psychotic, eh? Yeah. Lightning thing is actually three shot in them. Nice. Although I have to say the game is a little bit on the lag side. So that's because of all of the chunks it's spontaneously generating. Is it still so this is still actually creating the end, is it? Yeah. The... This would be probably faster if we had something like Fast Craft. Unfortunately, um, Fast Craft is not um, permitted to be distributed, and so I could not include it in the official pack. It will have to be added manually. Yeah, we'll have to. I think that is going to definitely be a necessary re-add re to the server, because it does feel significantly less responsive. Well, okay, not significantly. Now, now the, the other thing we could do is COFH Tweaks, which does pretty much the same thing, only it's done by the COFH team. Unfortunately, it is still all rights reserved, no permissions to distribute, but um, it's, it's got some interesting ways of, of making the server play a lot nicer. Well, I will defer to your judgment on that, because I don't really have any opinion one way or the other on it. Whichever one you'd rather take a swing at, really. All right. I almost wish we could benchmark both. Hmm. Well, I've gotten two of the shards. How about you? I'm um, using Hall Smasher to set up an area where we can farm them more permanently. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking about just uh, probably setting up a spawner in here eventually. But well, what I'm in is a too tall safe room. Ah, it looks really weird in here with all these clouds. I'm not <laughs> sure why they're here. They're not supposed to be. I think we can just blame. Um, Biomes of Plenty for being just a little weird. No, that isn't Biomes of Plenty. That is Natura, and that was disabled. Hmm. I thought. Well, I don't think we've seen them in the Overworld. This is only this is the first time I've actually seen them in the game. Right, which is why I'm kind of a little bit confused because they're not even supposed to spawn in any dimension other than the Overworld. Okay, something weird is going on with hunger. What's going on? I'm getting hungry really fast. Um... Oh, you know what? If she picked up Lux from our little trip last time into the, the crazy place, she could have a natural hunger going on. Oh, check your uh, I, status effects. I don't have... All I have is well-fed from having just eaten. 
I don't know what's going on here. These poor things just constantly falling out of the world, eh? I'm not quite sure what's causing them either. <laughs> well, they're a named monster, which makes me think uh, Chocolate Craft, but... Because I have yet to actually see anything with names like that in the world, which is intriguing to me. Okay. Well, we have uh, accomplished our primary mission here. Woo! That Please. did not take very long. No, it didn't. That was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> okay. There's a... Ah! I see there is a place where we can... Draw over trouble. All right, come on. Bo. Seriously, guys. All right. Well, with that done, um, I guess not quite ready to do the infusion, I don't think. I think I don't quite have the uh, aspects for it yet. Um... There we go. It's a, a little, um, little, little, little safe place. Oh, okay, it's actually not expensive. Spirits, Lux, and Humanus. That's nothing too... Nothing too hard. Um, you may want to get under here. This is about to get hairy. Mm -hmm. Oh, they haven't even gotten out of... They haven't even gotten past my shields yet. Well, no, I'm I'm doing gaze casting and and drawing in lots of them. Yeah, it's actually amazing how hard it is to get them to respond to that. I think part of that is the lag involved. Yeah. Fortunately for me, it's you they're mad at, so. Except for him. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need something more efficient to get reasonable any number of these shards. I mean, one shard produces eight Ikorium, and Icker Cloth takes three for three. So it's not cheap. I'm gonna pull a train here. All right. Ooh, a leg train even. I suppose I should be careful about not walking in front of you, eh? <laughs> Friendly fire isn't. Indeed. Okay, I think... I want to go back to the main base and have a look at that, uh... Figure out the rest of that charcoal distribution system for you, Kate. Because... Slaughtering Endermen is only fun for so long. <laughs> Little bastards don't stand a chance. By the way, did you mute yourself, Kate? Yes, you did. 
Yes, I did. Right, I hope you um, haven't been talking to Minecraft? Us. Oh, sorry. No, I haven't been saying much. I just said, okay. okay. And now I have left and there's credits. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Um... Oh, good. Unskippable. No, you can hit escape. Oh, good. That's annoying. I'd actually forgotten about that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I actually took some damage from something. Hmm. Weird. Okay. So I was trying to figure out why... Where that charcoal was going. From the, uh farm at the other base. Hmm. I'm not sure if the server... Oh, crap. I'm down to 4 FPS here. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. I think we're going to need to uh, fast craft or something here, but... stack of, uh, hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to use an import bus. Import bus takes stuff into the network, right? Yes, it imports into the network. All right. Do that. So for those who are wondering, um, what I'm trying to do is get charcoal blocks on the network so that uh, Kate's um, little farm can run off of charcoal instead of uh, logs. Random, yeah, random yeah. wooden junk. And for whatever reason, the blocks of charcoal aren't even... I don't... I had a whole bunch that disappeared into the ether for some reason, and I haven't figured out why. Well, the high oven's full. I was trying to get this working, but... Obviously something went a little sideways. Alright. Well, let's just set it so it's whitelisting something other than charcoal right now. I need because I need to see it actually making it into the box here. So once it, once it makes it into the box, then I can figure out why the heck it wasn't where it went in the network, if it even went into the network. So we're gonna use a dense item conduit. Hmm. Not to interrupt, but I just was looking at uses for my ender air bottles. Mm -hmm. And um, one of them, I can put it, if I put it on top of a monster spawner and feed it um, mana, it will activate the monster spawner no matter whether or not there are people nearby. Oh, interesting. But that's a thing I can do. Hmm. in uh oh I wonder if the pipe got jammed oh this pipe is back stuffed that's what it means when it's got that red highlight around it right yes that means it is back stuffed all right and the only way to unback stuff it is give it somewhere to go or pretty much or remove it okay I think it's I think it's finally found a destination.
Alright, I'm going to be AFK for a second. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I think everything's found a place to... Okay, that's weird. Why would it keep... Why would it keep backstuffing like that, I wonder? So the bizarre million dollar question is, where the heck is all this stuff gone? Okay, it's... It's just weirding out on me. No idea why, but this should do it. Alright, let's see. So now I should have block... Okay, then that's gotten even weirder. It's going into the network through an import bus, and then where is it going? Is there something on the ME network requesting those charcoal blocks right now? Not that I'm aware oh, of. Wait, there is. Ah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Let me guess, that's uh, making yourself some Ignis? No, no, the, uh, I've already built the uh, system at Kate's farm that requests the charcoal to arrive there. So the charcoal has gone straight into the network and is already sitting in these droppers at Kate's farm. Ah, some days I just, I'm just too brilliant for words. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Where's it going? That's probably where all the all that confusion I had earlier, that's probably where it all was going. I have to do is set this to round robin and we're golden. Awesome. And then I'll show you the neat idea I have for controlling it a little more effectively. I think I see what you're doing here and I heartily approve, although they seem to be Offset by one block. Did I not get them straight underneath? Mm, I'm fairly certain at least one item dropper is not on the same parallel as the other. Oh, I don't care about that. As long as the ch as long as the uh, pressure plates are in the right place, everything else is all good. Yeah. It just uh, doesn't look very even. Yeah, I think that's just the way they were before. We can clean that up in just a second. All right, that's not the recipe. There we are. There we are. One full stack of that. Yeah, that was just set up to uh, deal with the layout of Kate's uh, thing here. I think it's partly just matching. Oh, right. Here we go. Okay, so round robin is in place. Thank goodness these things retain their uh, inventories. Yeah, open blocks is pretty cool like that. And something just sucked up all my... I, oh, there's that Rosa Arcana over here. Oh. Oh, something sucked up all your lovely XPs from that uh, mission. Kate, your XP vampire flower. <laughs> Whoops! Fortunately, it's not like we don't have XP on farms. So. Yeah, also true. I'm back. Cool. So do you have a, a redstone conduit down there I, that takes the redstone signal? It will in a second. 
I've just that's the system before was a little less um, elegant than it is than what I'm building. So the redstone. Well, it was vanilla. Yeah. So it was a quick and dirty. I didn't have any other ideas at the moment. Solution. This is a slightly less. Yeah, oh. I was. It was. I was wow, playing I too much better. better than Wolves' plan. Yeah. Go with what you know, plan. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Mm hmm. All right. Apparently, the conduit already goes right under here, which is kind of hilarious. All right. Where is? There we are. Okay. This is going to work really well. All right. Put that right there. Up. In, out. Black signal. And then up. Red signal. All right. So basically what you're going to be doing is if there's anything sitting on the pressure plate, it will trigger the fact that it will not run yeah. because it will be having the redstone signal. That's opened. right. Now I just have to figure out how to get it to generate a pulse. As opposed to... Set it to run without one. Which, the uh, open blocks thing? You can do that? Well, no. Here, here's, here's what you do. When the thingy hits the thingy, it creates a redstone signal. Okay. Oh, I want right. it, I want it to not run. I want it to run when it, I want it to trigger. I want it to do an inverted signal. Yeah, you wanna you wanna basically you wanna not gate at some point in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to take the signals out and run them through an inverter, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. I can do that over here. We'll use the glory that is. Oh God, this is gonna be ele even more elegant than I thought. Let me just find... Here, you can have a redstone torch and various other redstone oh, accoutrements. Excellent. That's exactly, what I, that's exactly what I need. Okay. Just need a couple of... I guess dirt will do. All right, which way is that? North. Red signal. North. Black signal. Okay. Oh. Remember to change the, the channel of the signal. The... Of the uh, output signal, you mean, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, for example, if it's coming out on the red channel, it'll go out on, say, the green yeah. oh, channel yeah. or brown channel. Yeah. And then the brown, or whatever that second channel is, is the one that sets them off. Yeah. Because then when the uh, signal from that goes off, it turns on the signal up top, which is the pulse that it needs. And as long as it keeps dropping things on the hopper or on the on the plates, it'll keep causing itself to yeah. pulse. Basically what I want it to do is I want it to pulse when there is nothing on the plate. Yeah, and that's exactly what it'll do. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing about that is um, let's see. Eventually, after about five minutes or so, the block will despawn and drop another one on there, yeah. so there will be a slow bleed, but that's that's it's, think, easily... It's a lot better than the bleed I would have had before. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so... I'll just have to trigger the uh, initial pulse, I think, manually. 
white. Here, let me. Oh, hold on. It's 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 not going to make any. It's not going to do anything until I actually have it all wired up. Yeah, all you're going to need to do is walk on one of those pressure plates to turn it on. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, you may want to move this last item dropper up one. Mm -hmm. Oh. You may want to move this one up one. Okay, you want to 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 be on the yeah. I can I can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that you you probably want them all to be parallel. I don't think it's going to hurt anything one way or the other, but if for looks, it certainly is a thing. Okay. So now then, I just need to remember which one was which. So the red one was the near one, which means it gets the white south. Okay. Oh, is it? It just spat out more than one, didn't it? Okay, so in theory, it should start. Okay, why are these torches not? off. Oh, do I have to push a strong signal? I probably have to push a strong signal, don't I? Yeah, you're going to have to push a strong signal and pull a strong signal. There we go. What happened to this one? Oh, this other thing was did not have a um, a a black channel. I just changed it. Which one? Uh, the far one, because the one that I moved up. Oh, that one's supposed uh, to. I needed it. That's supposed to be green. That's the black is the input color. Ah, uh, so it'll be red then. No. Now you're looking at it backwards. These are the 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 ones on the on this side. You're stand this side, the side I'm standing on right now. Those are the signals coming from the pressure plates. The stuff on this side is the signals that are going to the uh, um, to the droppers. Ah, so white. Yeah. No, uh, white is for the other one. There's a separate signal for each of them. They're independent. Ah, okay, that works too. Yeah, because we don't want. Uh, However, you do want to get blocks actually dropping into them. Yeah, well, the part of the problem is that this one didn't have any blocks in it because I hadn't set up round robin on the charcoal distribution yet. Ah. Uh, now I just have to. There we go. All right. It's obviously dropping out multiples at one time, which is not ideal, but... I guess that's okay. Hey Kate, look at all your uh, yeah. look at all your mana production. They're going and going. Yeah. Okay, that turned out pretty slick. Well, I think that's all for today's episode. We killed a dragon and fixed Kate's mana farm. I hope, maybe. Cool. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, they're all going, so yeah. that's good. Now, the question is, mm -hmm. question is, if my pools and everything get all full up, will the system stop? Uh, not yet, no. Um, I've got an idea for how to do that. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to waste a lot of charcoal. I know, I know, and I just have to figure out. You, you, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out off camera. I'm going to need some information from you, and I'll okay. show that off in the next episode. Okay. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.